What is subtractive manufacturing? Subtractive manufacturing involves cutting away from a solid block of material until you have your desired product. The block could be made of wood, metal or plastic, for example. A milling machine, which is cutting out or hollowing out a piece of metal, is an example of subtractive manufacturing. We also use the term when the cutting away is done manually. If you start with something and end up with less of it, you are subtracting material from it. This is what subtracting manufacturing is. You don't add to the material, you take away from it. A sculptor starts with a stone or wooden block and gradually chips away at it until the statue is finished. That is an example of a subtractive action. When this happens in industry, we call it subtractive manufacturing. The opposite of subtractive manufacturing is additive manufacturing. Added manufacturing, or AM, is the process of joining materials to make three-dimensional objects from 3D model data. With additive manufacturing, you keep adding and adding until you have your desired product. With additive manufacturing, you keep adding, while with subtractive manufacturing, you keep subtracting. There's an important difference. Subtractive manufacturing, which is widely used in manufacturing, has been around for a very long time. Thousands of years ago, people cut away at rocks to make blocks for building walls, homes and even pyramids. In many societies, canoes and other boats were made by cutting away at a large tree trunk. A lot of new technology items, however, such as 3D printing, are examples of additive manufacturing. Thank you for watching this brief video on subtractive manufacturing.